Elite Facts presents seven weird, crazy, and nightmarish music videos. The music video is now an accepted part of the modern music industry, and some are simply fantastic. Some, however, are just plain weird. Some are crazy, and some others are nightmare fuel. Admittedly, the bonkers nature of some of these videos makes them all the more entertaining. Though some might just make you feel uncomfortable. Some manage to do both. Seven. Oh yeah, by Yellow. The moon, beautiful. The sun, even more beautiful. Oh yeah. You probably know this song if you've watched anything on TV or in the cinema since 1987. Made famous in the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off, you may now know the song as the one that plays every time Duff Man appears on The Simpsons. The song has just about become the musical representation of lust and getting high in the media. It's a rather iconic song, is what we're getting at. The music video, however, the video features the song's writers Boris Blank and Dieter Meyer. Doing what can best be described as a bit less iconic and a bit more WTF. You can't help but think this video was conceived on a cocktail of acid and peyote because it's literally just a mix of vividly colored goings-on while the iconic "Oh yeah" is played over it. Occasionally, a small girl pops up and just does childish stuff. Normally, this would be kind of adorable, but in this video, it feels like some sort of ultra-high art metaphor for something Freudian. A sun and moon regularly pop up, which at least matches the only lyric besides the "Oh yes." And some other highlights of this odd video include the two men punching each other, the two men's heads trying to eat a metallic cabbage, and one of the men fanning himself while the other walks about with his ass stuck out. So yes, weird video. Oh yeah. Six. Tunak Tunak Tun by Daler Mendy. Ever have anyone tell you you're only popular because your music videos are full of beautiful women? No. Well, Indian Bahangra artist Daler Mendy had such an accusation levied against him back in the late 1990s. His response was to produce the finest CGI-based music video the technology of 1998 would create, and made himself the only person to be featured in it four times. No beautiful women this time, just four versions of himself, each wearing a different colored version of the same fabulous outfit. Apparently, each of the Mendy clones is meant to represent the four elements. Though what we assume are fire and earth get the trophies for smuggest grins. The background CGI gives us a wonderful tour through frozen tundras and parched deserts, as well as Saint Basil's Cathedral from Moscow and one of the pyramids for some reason. There's earthquakes, sandstorm tornadoes, and what appears to be fire bending. It's a pretty crazy video, but its upbeat nature means you can't help but smile while watching it. Whether or not you're a Bahangra fan, you can't help but find this song cheerful and rather catchy. It's bound to make you want to get up and try your hand at Bahangra dancing, odd video or not. Five. Total Eclipse of the Heart by Bonnie Tyler. Now we're not attacking the legend that is Bonnie Tyler here, or the epic 1980s power ballad that is Total Eclipse of the Heart, with perhaps the exception of the creepy and unnecessary falsettos. We're here to gaze in wonder and awe at the misty mishmash of 1980s cliches that's in this music video. The whole thing appears to be set in some sort of posh boy British boarding school, and plays out like someone gave Bonnie Tyler a load of drugs and left her to wander Eton College at night. Starting with a completely detached panning shot of some candles, the video then moves us through the empty hallways of an old school building, which just happens to be filled with holy shafts of light and doves. Bonnie then walks down a hallway, and a door swings open, revealing a series of random schoolboys sitting at their desks, a goth kid with doves, and a swimming team getting soaked. She then wanders into the grand hall, only to be met with a bunch of dancing ninjas, of whom she is completely ignorant of. Before then, walking in on one of the Bullingdon Club's dinner parties, then we get a bunch of gymnasts in masks and some sports fencers in a scene that presumably inspired the fencing scene in Die Another Day. It gets a whole lot weirder from there on, so we'll just quickly list the next lot of oddities: 1950s greasers, flying choir boys with glowing eyes, American footballers, fencing masks filled with glitter, dancing gymnasts in what appears to be bondage gear, and a birdman. Yeah, it's a sideshow of odd. After all of this, it then cuts to what seems to be some sort of meet and greet at the school, and Bonnie greets the students. Only one of them still has those freaky ass glowing eyes while singing in that creepy falsetto. 
Bonnie's reaction to this feels aptly like our reaction to this entire video. A look of, oh, that just happened, didn't it? Wow, the 1980s sure were weird. 4. Praise Abort by Lindemann There's a good chance you're aware of German industrial metal band Rammstein and quite possibly Swedish death metal band Hypocrisy. In mid-2015, the lead vocalists of both bands, Till Lindemann and Peter Taggren, released an industrial party anthem they had been working on called Praise Abort. The video then came out and it caught everyone a little off guard with just how out there it was. Be aware, this one is a touch not safe for work, but you shouldn't have expected anything less from these Euro rockers. It begins with singer Till Lindemann's mouth declaring quite simply that he likes to fuck before moving on to an all-white stage where Till dances, dressed also all in white, while Peter, made up like a pig man, plays a white grand piano. The video then descends into chaos as the blood-soaked pig man version of Till kicks human Till over. Fetal-like ballerinas then appear on stage as lights flash and the video moves to a depressing and debauched domestic scene featuring Pig Man Peter and Pig Woman Till. It's got Pig Woman Till seeing to piglet children before descending into piggish eating and some pig person porking. It flits back and forth between the domestic scene and the stage scene where the ballerinas dance and writh around. There's an angelic march of pigs before everyone turns up the stage to see Pig Man Till gleefully execute Pig Woman Till with a bolt gun. They then dance about in celebration before Human Till returns at the end of the video to a Muzak version of the song and walks off cuddling a piglet. The song itself is apparently about a midlife crisis, and the video is a very graphic illustration of that. Apparently, midlife self-loathing is what director Zoran Bihak thinks of pigs. Either way, the song's chorus is the most joyously cathartic and vitriolic sing-along, if you're ever having a particularly bad day. 3. Come to Daddy by Aphex Twin Apparently, you don't get to make it as a successful DJ without first terrifying a few people in the process, because the video for Aphex Twin's Come to Daddy has gone down in infamy for being completely nightmare-inducing. Set in decaying parts of 1990s London, around which scenes from the disturbing movie A Clockwork Orange were also filmed, the video begins with an old lady taking her dog for a walk as ominous music plays. The dog pees on an abandoned TV, causing it to come to life, displaying the shimmering image of DJ Richard Aphex's twin James. This starts the song with Aphex's electro spirit face screeching, I want your soul. So you can probably see where this is going, because that hellish screeching about soul stealing and soul eating keeps up throughout the entire song. Children wearing the distorted face of Aphex start appearing and chase the old lady through the dreary estate. Then gangs of the kids with Aphex's face play fight, skip, surround that old woman and wreck stuff up, complete with a break in the song for an old recording of angelic children singing. Towards the end of the video, the TV demon thing breaks out of the TV in front of the cornered old lady and proceeds to scream in her face like a digital banshee for 20 seconds. It's freaking horrific. We're then left not knowing the fate of the old lady, but we do see a slightly more human-looking incarnation of the demon thing paternally embracing the army of man-faced kids. Believe it or not, this horror flick of a video was once dubbed best music video of the 1990s. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. Two. I Feel Better by Hot Chip The music video for Hot Chip's I Feel Better is a genius work of parody, though it is also a complete and utter rug puller of an odd and crazy video. It begins looking like a classic and cliché British boy band performance in front of a crowd of screaming girls. There's a roll call of the band, complete with overly sumptuous names like Marvane and Octavian, and the band dances rhythmically and poses handsomely for their adoring crowd. It seems like a rather standard boy band performance until a glowing, skinny, bald, angelic man crashes the show and wanders through the crowd up on stage. He then seems to get into some sort of dance competition with each of the band members, sizing them up and toying with them before blasting them with a soul-stealing mouth laser. That's right, a soul-stealing laser, completely out of the blue and delivered with comic timing. The crowd's screams start to turn from those of joy to those of terror as the bald stranger zaps all the band. The bald man then appears to hypnotize the crowd before zapping the band back into existence in snazzy white suits, now including himself as the head of the band, totally hijacking the performance. Everyone starts having fun again until the disembodied floating head of Antonio Francis, a man famed for having large bulging eyes, appears and causes the bald man to run off. 
The floating head then fries the band with his eye lasers before turning them on the crowd, including members of the actual Hot Chip band, all while grooving and singing along to the song. It's completely and utterly bonkers. Just when you think an angelic bald fella stealing souls and the show was about as weird as it was gonna get, a floating head appears and ruins everything. It might surprise you to know that this music video was directed by the voice of Darth Maul and zombie landlord Peter Serafinowicz. Not that that makes the video any less weird. 1. Chick Chick by Wang Rong Roland South Korea and its K-pop scene have a bit of a reputation for wild and weird music songs. No doubt you remember when Gangnam Style ruled the web and became the absolute king of YouTube. Chick Chick by Wang Rong Roland is another such wild and weird Korean music video offering. To put it simply, the song is a mix of chicken screeches and farm noises, and the video is all kinds of madness with a chicken aesthetic. It starts with the opening up of a magical pop-up book that's filled with farmyard madness. In between the cuts of screeching in bright wigs and summery clothes, or singing in what appears to be a dress straight out of the Star Wars prequels, we get to see a lot of crazy farm animal themed dancing. Women dancing wearing chicken themed dresses? Check. Cartoon dancing chickens in swimsuits? Check. Cartoon dogs that vaguely resemble Nazis? Check. If you can conceive of something weird and farm animal themed, then chances are it's already somewhere in this video. Oh, and just when you think it couldn't get any odder, emotionless cow people in white boxers and boots take over the screen and join in the dancing. They're then joined by various other animal mask wearing dancers. The video reaches a mad climax with a bonkers party filled with feathery dancers and colorfully dressed people in animal masks. It then ends with cartoon mother hen with ample chicken breasts drinking soda before then poofing into a cloud of feathers. Yeah, we're still not too sure what more can exactly be said about this odd, odd video. Good luck getting the song out of your head though if you decide to give the video a watch yourself. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more Elite Facts.